Hi, my name is Jose, and I'm making this very brief video to share with you my personal experience with preparing for and taking the AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner exam. I was able to study for about one week prior to sitting for the exam, and I passed on my first attempt. I hope that me sharing my personal experience that will give you the confidence and encouragement that you need to no longer delay taking the exam. To give you guys a little bit of background about myself, I do have two other IT certifications. I have the CompTIA Security Plus, and I also have the ISC squared CISSP or Certified Information System Security Professional. So although I did not have any hands-on experience with AWS prior to preparing for this exam, I do have a decent understanding of technology as a whole. At the time of this recording, the exam costs $100, there are 65 questions, and you have 90 minutes to complete it. You are able to flag questions and go back to them prior to submitting your final answers. I probably flagged about 10 of them myself just to go through and make sure that I was confident in the answer that I was providing. The exam was pretty straightforward. Some of the questions had a little bit more information that was needed for me to provide an answer, but I feel like that's pretty standard with most exams. So you really just need to take your time and try to drill down on what they're asking and answer the question without taking too many variables into uh, consideration with providing your answer. It's, it's really just there to confuse you. Uh, and now to get into what I did pr to prepare for the exam. My biggest resource was the Linux Academy. I signed up for a one week free trial, seven days. Uh, that was the, my motivation for making sure I completed it within one week. Uh, during the time of me preparing, the government was shut down. So I was at home anyways. So I really wanted to give myself a challenge. Plus I wanted to save some money and I wanted to see if I could uh, make the most of my time while I, while I was furloughed. I wanted to look back on it and feel like I, I got something accomplished versus looking back in resentment or being bitter about being at home without pay. So I was able to accomplish my goal. Uh, other than the Linux Academy training, I also signed up for AWS free tier. Um, the Linux Academy training had a lot of hands-on like walkthrough simulations. So I would have both my monitors up, I'd go through the simulations, and that really is what I feel allowed me to get the most confidence in understanding AWS. So I went through the AWS, excuse me, I went through the Linux Academy training twice. And uh, the first time in its entirety, just going through the motions. The second time I really tried to drill down on the information that I was having the most difficulty with. In addition to Linux Academy, I also went through all seven of the AWS introduction white papers. Uh, they were very helpful. I would just, when I wasn't at the computer, I would just take my Kindle, read through the white papers. Um, and if I had any questions or if I needed a deep, uh, more deeper understanding or I needed it explained to me from a different perspective, I would hop on YouTube, do a search for something like AWS S3 Glacier, just to make sure that I'm understanding it properly. Uh, in addition to the Linux Academy, the AWS White Papers, and YouTube, I also read the AWS Frequently Asked Questions. Uh, there's a lot of information on there that will allow you to understand AWS as a whole uh, a little bit better than just by going through the white papers. The last thing I used to prepare for the exam was the free digital training that AWS offers on their training website. Uh, it's probably about four and a half hours. Um, it was not the most exciting material. Uh, I, I struggled to get through it, but I wanted to make sure I touched through all the modules that they offered since it is their exam. I thought it would make the most sense to use their material. I did not re read any AWS books. Uh, there is one that I saw online. Uh, it was a little bit old. So uh, AWS is a cloud platform. So the information, the services they offer is constantly changing. So I felt like the AWS white papers and the frequently asked questions would probably be more reliable for preparing for the exam than a book that was published a few years back. On the exam itself, uh, you really need to know the major services S3, including the different classes of S3. Um, you should have a decent understanding of the five pillars of the AWS well-architected framework. Uh, EC2, the major applications. RDS, the difference between RDS and the difference between DynamoDB. Uh, the difference between CloudTrail and CloudWatch. Uh, VPC, of course, edge locations, uh, availability zones, regions, what the difference between all of them are. 
You should know uh, what are the different options available to companies to get their or, or organizations to get their data from their infrastructure to Amazon Web Services. So you should know about Snowball. You should know about uh, Snowmobile. Um, serverless that I had a few questions about server serverless so make sure you have an understanding of lambda uh, auto scaling which services auto scaling is available for uh, oh another big thing was pricing understand the different pricing structures that AWS offers uh, understand how to go through the TCO or total cost of ownership calculator that was big um, uh, besides that just pretty much everything that the objectives or outline that AWS offers mentions just do your best to have a decent understanding of all of it uh, you do not need to know every single service but if you can understand what each service is for and then be able to go in depth regarding the primary services that's uh, probably that's really all you need to pass the exam now since i passed the exam i was not taking it to get a new job so i did not uh, try to search um, i did not try to publish my resume out there so i don't know what feedback i would get from the certification ex itself but uh, the other benefits that I did receive was access to the AWS certified store. Uh, they have stuff on there like keychains, I think a coffee mug, you can get swag. Uh, the different level of certification you have, the more options that are available to you. I also received a AWS practice exam voucher to use for my next certification, which will be the uh, certified uh, solution architect associate. And I also received a 50% off my next exam. So I'm definitely gonna apply that to the architect associate exam. And you also qualify for access to the AWS lounge that's available at reInvent. Um, this will be my first year going to reInvent. So I'm not sure if they'll still be offering it, but I mean, why not? It was hundred dollars. And plus it got my uh, feet wet with AWS as a whole. So uh, I figured it'd be a really good starting point for me to take this exam.